with me today in the Do It webinars, I have uh, San Yi Fuentemilia. Uh, he is with, uh, Fab, uh, with the Fab Labs movement. And can you tell me about a uh, bit about yourself and the Fab Lab you are involved with? <laughs> Hello, thanks uh, to Melly, uh, to this call. It's an uh, honor for me to explain a little bit about the Fab Labs. So I'm San Yi Fuentemilia and I'm from Fab Lab Barcelona. Uh, Fabio Barcelona was started in 2007, so we have uh, around 14 years of experience making things, any kind of things. Uh, and we are inside the Institute of Advanced Architecture of Catalonia, that is a university that do master's degrees in architecture. So we start as a, let's say, experiment, let's say, as a fab lab, and, and we uh, nowadays we are one of the uh, biggest ones in the European Union or in, in Europe, let's say. Uh, and everybody in the, in the university and from, let's say, the neighborhood uh, is using the Fab Lab very engaged. Um, um, we understand, um, at least, I always have to say, so the Fab Lab brings to the university this idea of making and prototyping uh, in a way to learn uh, that it was not, uh, let's say, possible without the Fab Lab. So for me, this is one of the key points of what, what the Fab Lab brings, at least to uh, the university and the environment where. are. So, yeah. And how would you say that... Uh, how can you engage youth and adults uh, into Fab Labs? Like, how, uh, what kind of interest people have had into this? Well, we, we used to have, like, as we are inside the university, at the beginning we was focused a lot with, uh, just with the students that we have in the university. But uh, we understand that the Fab Lab, uh, uh, not we understand, but it's in, the, it's in the core concepts of the Fab Labs, uh, that they have to be open and they have to be for the society. So we start to, to do different projects um, uh, related to the neighborhoods. So as, for example, we have like project, um, programs, um, uh, teachers, uh, teachers in residence. So we have like uh, project, uh, projects that are for kids. So we try to set up like activities, short activities and long-term activities to engage our neighborhood uh, to use the Fab Lab. So, right. how, how do we do it? Um, we do, yeah, I mean, we don't have the special recipe. So, we put a lot of effort, a lot of love, and we believe in what we do. I mean, this is, uh, for me, the best uh, advice I can tell you. I mean, if the people come here and they see, and they see people that, that don't know what they are doing, and they believe that this it could like be like the first step for changing something at the end. This is what they get. This is how we get them engaged. So we engage them that they can also do and they can also participate in the change or in whatever they want to do in the future. Yeah, you mentioned that you have a presentation with a couple of pictures about your Fab Lab. So would you like to show us? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, let me see here how I how can I share my screen uh, here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? Uh, now I can. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's a long presentation, but I will I will try to summarize. It. So this is. Future Learning Unit, that is the, the let's say, the department that I in Fabla Barcelona. Uh, it's the uh, department that basically takes care of anything that, that has to be related with uh, education and learning. Uh, but first of all, we are in Fabla Barcelona, so, and we have three campuses. So here we can see the, the three, like, different, well, four, actually, but, but in the left part in the right part we have like the three different campuses we have and um, it's uh, something uh, very useful for us because we have two campuses that are in the in the kind of like industrial area in Fab Lab in, in Barcelona let's say 
Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, Sunny, I don't see the full screen view. Uh, when you went to full screen, uh, the sharing. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, then this is easy. Okay, yeah. Now I see. Now you see it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it okay like this? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. So what I was saying is that this is feature learning unit that is the, uh, let's say, department or unit that I'm working in Pablo Barcelona and, it, uh, and it's about everything that has to be related to learning. So, mm -hmm. as I was mentioning, we are in Barcelona, this is a picture of what the people like, uh, mostly like, relate, relate with Barcelona, the Sierra Familia. And these are the three campuses we have in IAC, in the university. Uh, we have two campuses in an in industrial area in, in Barcelona, that is the uh, and this brings us the possibility to basically work in the technology in a way that probably most of us understand technology, robots, so digital fabrication, tied to citizen and uh, architecture. And then we have uh, we have uh, another campus in the, in the hills of Barcelona uh, that we call Vaitabra campus uh, that is in a very uh, nice environment. Uh, surrounded by forest, let's say, and this campus brings us the possibility to work, uh, uh, to use technology related to agriculture and nature. So, in here we can prototype, we can think of new ways to uh, be sustainable, so produce our food, so we can, we can develop all of these activities. Uh, Thanks to have these two or these three different like, campuses, we can basically uh, research and basically do things related to basically technology applied to, to citizens and to the nature. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of what we do, we do basically we work in in a lot of different scales. So we work, and this is a picture that illustrates a little bit everything. So we work in scale of city, we work in scale of GDL, we work in scale of uh, uh, buildings and we even work like renovation of, of uh, shops and buildings. So, as I was mentioning, we have like almost 30 of any kind of things uh, you can imagine, since like small devices like these, uh, we almost need the house. So we wanted to show people that we can do, or the Fab Lab can, can, can make like almost everything. This is a little bit of story of uh, Fab Lab Barcelona that I will not enter in details. Um, yeah. And this is our relation to the, to the city. Uh, as I was mentioning, Fab Lab is inside here, but uh, with our experience and with the past of the years, let's say, we start being in contact with uh, more and more with the citizens and the city in Barcelona, <coughs> thanks to, to do some research projects, things like this. And this is um, a project that we started like in 2010, uh, that is called Fab City, and this about how Fab Lab can impact the society uh, surrounding or in the surrounding society. So, and this is more or less uh, illustrate this picture about uh, the different like areas, let's say. Let's say we have like Fab, Fab Lab, then we have the Fab City Research Lab, then we have, the, let's say, the neighborhood, neighborhood area, then we have the Fab Lab Barcelona, and then we have the Fab City Global. That is this idea that also the Fab Labs have, that they, they are not isolated. Uh, Places. They belong, in, uh, or they are, uh, they are inside the network that is the FAPS uh, network that is makes like everything going uh, to at the same time because um, you are not the only one like doing these things, so you you. Yeah. Basically, have to share the information, and you have to share your ideas and projects in order that other people can collaborate and can be doing that. Um, I will not enter so much details, so I think so. I can leave it here because the rest of things is more Fab Lab, uh, Fab Lab Barcelona. Yeah. Um, but uh, 
uh, maybe this word, it will illustrate a little bit what we do in Fabla Barcelona and how we try to engage everybody. So right. these, these are the different uh, learning projects and programs we have in the house. Um, we divide it in five categories or five different projects. So we have the learning experience that normally are short and let's say uh, short in time, uh, quick in impact uh, that we try to do. Uh, different activities uh, based on the base, uh, research areas and do it for everybody. We can do it for kids, we can do it for, let's say, musicians, we can do it with, for, uh, uh, let's say, uh, companies that want to innovate. We do it for so many people and our idea for the learning experience is to uh, explain people what the Fab Lab does, what are the possibilities and to start that engaging them. Then we have the academies. The academies are uh, legal lower um, uh, programs. Uh, basically, they are attached to one concept. In this case, we have like Fab Academy, Fabri Academy and Winemakers. Fab Academy is the most uh, popular like uh, academy in the Fab Lab world because it's a six month where the people learn about this information. And then we have Fabri Academy that is six months of six, six different fab labs around the world they do the same program uh, but this is focusing on the same to have like my camera close to uh, where we basically try to engage people in the idea of creation and creating wine, but not just the creation, also the growth of the plan and everything, all the steps that we need to in the let's say wine, uh, let's say what. Then we have a master that is a master in. We have different masters in the house, but the one that is related to the Fab Lab is the master in design and emergency filters, and what actually is it's another way to to see technology and the new trends of, of the technology, uh, to rethink or to think about uh, new possible futures. Then we have another way to learn that is, or to be in contact with Fabla Barcelona and learn, that is the residences. We have like teachers in residence, that is for teachers from high school, primary school, secondary school, that they want to start like, uh, Growing their skills and being part of the Fab Lab world, so they can they can come here, they can be um, with us, working with us, developing like learning <coughs> lessons to that they can apply then to the, to the schools. Then we have like accelerator programs uh, as mid talent that is for youth people uh, that they have an idea. We can basically we, we, we help them to develop this idea. Uh, and then we have the incubator and research. Uh, these are projects that they, they already have like an idea, a strong idea, that they are aligned to the, let's say, Fab Lab, uh, um, let's say, process lines. Uh, and then we incorporate it in the house and we help them to grow also and to develop like the devices and the, 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 let's say, the projects and the companies. And I think so that's it. <laughs> I see. Uh, so, uh... That's, uh, that's um, really quite impressive. And um, what kind of resources would you recommend to a person who would like to know more about this Fab Lab phenomenon or get started in this kind of network? Is there websites or other resources where they can learn more? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of, lot of uh, places to where you can learn. If you want to know about Fab Labs, I recommend to go to the Fab Foundation uh, website. That is basically the main website that explains a little bit about the Fab Labs. It explains you if you want to start a Fab Lab, what do you need to do? What kind of machines you have to you have to have, and which are the steps? This is the first one, and then it, it's basically. For example, if you're going to get funding, if you're going to get also in contact with some Fab Labs, things like this. Also, I recommend our Fab Lab, Fab Lab our webpage, Fab Lab Barcelona. And then, if you want to know 
which fab nuts are in the world. So we remember that I told that I uh, explained you that the fab nuts are hundreds of fab nuts around the world. We are more or less more than one thousand five hundred fab nuts around the world. If yeah. you wanna know, if you wanna know which fab nuts and who are who is behind these fab nuts, which, which kind of resources they have, we are mapping everything in a platform that it calls um, fablabs.io. That right. it's a let's say it's a very nice way to explore like a different like uh, where are the fab labs? There's a, there's a wide world map where all the dots with the fab labs. So it's very easy to know if there's fab labs that's near to you. Um, and there's a contact contact uh, email information to be contact. And then in terms of activities, of course, um, the do it activity. Uh, web page where we are posting everything uh, in terms of how to engage people uh, to be more uh, entrepreneurial and uh, do process related social innovation. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I think so with these four web pages. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for time, Sanji, uh, for introducing us into the Fab Lab, lab phenomenon and um, telling us about your uh, local Fab Lab. So um, thank you for your time and uh, have a good afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.